Hello, my name is Sarah Nilsson, the singing costumer. Now today we're not talking about costume making, but we're talking about something costume adjacent. We're talking about reproduction jewelry. I have been obsessed with Splendet jewelry pretty much ever since I found them online. They are reproduction 1940s and 50s style jewelry uh, made in England and it's made of resin. So they're, they're fairly inexpensive except for the shipping costs to the US and they're so colorful and bright and I'm just, I'm just obsessed with them. So I thought I'd show off my collection real quick and then get to the, the point of this video. Right now I have on my tropical punch necklace and uh, little hoops. I also have the bangles. They come in different widths as you can see. The shade is just so beautiful. I love it. It's like, it's coral but more orangey coral rather than pink is how I, how I describe it. Next we have iris pink. I have my beads here. A very pretty shade. It almost matches my matches my shirt today, but I thought I'd go with the with the tropical punch today. Anyway, we've got the iris pink. This is probably my favorite bracelet bangle because it has little um, flowers carved in it. I just think it's really beautiful. I love it. And of course, you have to have matching earrings. So cute. And then from Splendette's Halloween collection last year, we have Purple Potion. It's got this really cool crystal shape on the bottom and it's kind of um, marbled effect there. Really pretty. Then we have the earrings to match with the same crystal. And then we have amethyst. We've got two sizes of the bangles. This is a really pretty um, spring shade, really pretty lavender. I love it in the springtime. I wore it all the time this past spring. I have two sets of earrings from this collection. We have drop hoops. Then we have these half moon shape hoops. They're very pretty. So I have all this jewelry. I can't just leave all these pretty things in a box in the closet. No, I have to make a custom display to show off all the pretty colors. And I know I'm going to get more, it's going to happen. So I thought I might as well make a nice big display where I can see my entire collection at once. And because it just gives me joy to see these pieces. They're just so beautiful. So why don't I show you what I have? Let's get started. All right, so my first step, excuse the bird, she won't be quiet. My first step is to paint this all black. I think black will be very neutral, will go with a lot of decor. So let's get started to paint. I have just a regular acrylic paint. I'm not going too fancy here. And I don't have a bowl or anything handy, so we're just gonna go, go for it.
So now I'm getting ready to glue the pieces of trim together. Ignore the bird. I'm trimming one edge so the edges will butt up neatly. Almost there. Okay, so basically what I'm doing, I'm just gluing these two longer pieces to the shorter piece just for stability, so they meet edge to edge. I'm going to use my E6000. All right, I'm gonna leave that in place to dry thoroughly. So it has as good a chance as it can get to dry. All right. Next, I think I'm going to take off the little hangers on the back. One of them broke. So I bought a new pack of hangers, saw some Hobby Lobby while I was there. So I think while I'm just sitting here, I might as well put those on. Okay, now I'm getting ready to glue on the earring rail, as I'm going to call it. So I'll just take my E6000 and just go to town. not feeling 100% confident, but I have hope. There's a lot of glue strings in here I'll have to clean up, but it's okay. can't see it but there's that little rail glued on right there I think it looks cute so far so we'll see and one side already came unglued it's not a good sign I may have to stay here for like an hour and just keep pushing it down to make sure the glue stays in contact until it's like completely set. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just sit here for a little while. Yeah, I'll 
be fun. Okay, I'm almost finished. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm going to next put on some hooks to hang my necklaces from. I think I'm going to have to um, start a little hole with a nail and then try to screw them in because I was just trying to screw them in. It wasn't working very well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start a little hole first. more work than I thought. <laughs> These are tough to screw in. Hmm. Trying to think of a way to make this easier. I promise. I was not expecting these little hooks to be by far the hardest part of this project. Did not see that coming. Getting there. We're getting there. I am so excited to finally be finishing this up. I only started this yesterday, so it hasn't been that long. But I feel like I've been planning it for so long that it feels like it's taken me forever to, to finish it. So I'm very excited. I got these um, bracelet holders just at Hobby Lobby again. I found everything in one place, so that was very easy. And... Make sure to dust off your black velvet because it shows every little bit of hair and dust. So I'll be cleaning it very often, so I'm, I'm okay with that. 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to E6000 these on the top and then I'm going to do a tiny little bit of touch up paint and then I will be completely finished with this project. And I'm very excited. finished up my first little bit of E6000. I'm having a little bit of trouble because I'm not waiting long enough and so the glue is not set yet and it's slipping and sliding all over the place. Well, the jewelry display is complete and it looks really good. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I think it'll be easier for me to choose what jewelry, you know, if I can see it all at once. And stacking is a big thing. You know, you take like five or more bangle bracelets and you put them all on your wrist at the same time. And you just, you know, you mix up and mix and match the different colors. And I think it'll be really easy to do that when I have them all out where I can see them at once instead of just in this little bag in the closet like I had them before. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell. I'll see you next time. Bye.